The third approach is a graphical approach called muller breslau principle. muller breslau principle states that the inference line for a response in a structure is equal to the deflected shapes when we remove response and replace it with a corresponding unit displacement or rotations. So in short, we can say that inference line is equal to a properly deflected shape of the structure. I'm going to use this example to illustrate the Muller Bristol principle. So previously, we obtained the inference line for reaction force at A, AY. So if we just relax the reac reactions A there, and then displace position A upward, with the unit displacements, then we have this deflected shape. As you can see that this deflected shape is exactly identical to the inference line we found before. So why is this deflected shape equal to the inference line? To explain this, we have to turn to virtual work principle for a rigid body structure. So take a look at this structure. This is a rigid body structures, and it's acting by a set of loading, F1, F2, F3, and F4. The summations of these forces are indicated by this orange arrows there. So assume that I disturb the structures virtually with small deformations delta r. This is an imaginary deformation. So I can calculate the work done by such a disturbance. So the work done is called virtual work. And it can be calculated by taking the summation force times the virtual deformation at that location. Alternatively, we can also establish virtual work by doing force by force calculations. So this virtual deformation is going to cause the deformations at various locations where the force are acting. So for instance, at the locations of F1, you will see a virtual deformation of delta R1, and locations F2, you will see virtual deformations delta R2. So instead of doing summation force times delta R, what we can do is we do F1 times delta R1 plus F2 times delta R2, etc. So these two calculations should be the same because they are all virtual works. Assuming that this structure is under equilibrium, which tells you that the summation force acting on the structure should be equal to zero. So it tells you that if you substitute that conditions into the virtual work, it shows you that the virtual work should be equal to zero. So we are going to use this concept to explain why the muller breslau principle work. So next, let me illustrate uh, the virtual work principle using this example. So I have a simply supported beam with one side overhanged and I want to find out the inference line for reaction force at the left end, called AY. So I put all the external force acting on the structure, which include AY, reaction force, and BY, another reaction force at B, and the downward unit force. So imagine this is a rigid body. So I disturb the structure like this. Then I can formulate the virtual work created due to such a disturbance. In this case, I move point A upward by one while holding point B stationary. So as a result, AY is going to do work. So the work done by AY is going to be AY times one this downward unit force is also going to contribute to the virtual work, and this virtual work is going to be one times the magnitude at that particular location, 
we describe this magnitude by a function called fx. And since this uh, function is positive upward and downward uniforms is moving down, so they are contributing to negative work. BY, because the point of BY is holding stationary, so it does not contribute to any virtual work. So as a result, the virtual work due to such a disturbed structure is delta W equal to AY times 1 minus 1 times FX. And as we just mentioned, that virtual work principles for rigid body under equilibrium should be equal to 0. So set the virtual work equal to zero, it shows you that AY is equal to FX, which is the profile of the deflected shape. So that echoes the inference line is equal to a properly deflected shape of the structure. So let me use another example. This time I want to find inference line for BY. So holding point A stationary and then move point B upward by unit of 1. And then calculate all the virtual work that you can find on this configuration and then set that equal to 0. So here it is. Virtual work done under such a configuration is equal to BY times 1 minus 1 time fx. According to the virtual work principle for rigid body structure under equilibrium, the virtual work should be equal to 0. So as a result, by will be equal to fx. So it shows you that this deflected shape is the inference line for by. Next, I'm going to show you how you can use the same concept to establish inference line for shear force at a particular cross section. So I want to find the inference line for the shear force at that cross section. So all you need to do is to properly deflect the shape of the structures, like this. So I move the left end of the structures downward with a deflection of delta 1 and move the right end of the structures with a deflection at that point delta 2. Don't forget that at each cross section we will see two forces. One is a shear force, the other is a bending moment. So while you're doing a rigid body rotations, you will see a rotation angle of theta 1 on the left end and rotation angle of theta 2 on the right end. So this rotation angle plus the bending moment are going to contribute to the calculations of virtual work. So here's the virtual work calculations. So shear force on the left end is going to do virtual work is V times delta 1. Shear force on the right end is going to do another virtual work, which is V times delta 2. Also, bending moment is going to do work, so bending moment time rotation theta 1, but they are in opposite direction, so they are contribute to negative virtual work. On the other sides of bending moment, m and theta 2, they are aligned, so they will contribute to positive virtual work. Finally, the downward uniforms is going to contribute to negative virtual work. And you can see that as we hold support A and support B stationary, so the reaction force AY and BY, they are not going to contribute into the virtual work calculations. So according to the virtual work principle for a rigid body structure in equilibrium, delta W should be equal to zero. So here is delta W equations. Now, the only thing that we need to do is, as we are looking for the shear force inference line. So we need to eliminate the appearance of M from the virtual expressions. So if we can just set theta 2 equal to theta 1, they will be canceling each other 
so that you don't see a moment participation in the virtual work. And further, if you can set delta 1 plus delta 2 equal to 1, then the result is going to give you v equal to fx. So fx, again, is the profile of the deflected shape, which tells you that this is the inference line for the shear force of v. So the conclusion that we can have is, in the virtual work calculations, try to include only the reaction force that you are looking for in the virtual work calculations and try to remove all the other forces from participating into the virtual work calculations. Next, I'm going to show you how you can construct inference line for a bending moment at a particular cross-section using muller breslau principle. So here is the bending moment. I wish established inference line for this bending moment. So as we learned before that muller fresnel principle tells us that inference line is equal to a properly deflected shape of the structures. So you need to create a shape intelligently so that that shape is the inference line that you are looking for. Now in this case, I put down all the forces that act on the structures. Now I'm looking at the cross sections. So at the cross sections, I should have shear force and bending moment. So all I need to do is pull this point upward by a delta amount and then formulate my virtual work principles. So here is the virtual work calculations. As you can see that M, bending moment on the left, is going to contribute to virtual work because you have a rotation angle of theta 1. They are aligned, so they contribute to positive work. On the left, on the right, Bending moment and this rotation angle again is going to contribute to positive virtual work. So that's the first term. Now the shear force, one is acting downward, the other is acting upward, but they move with the same amount. So the left shear force is going to contribute to negative virtual work, while the right shear force is going to contribute to positive virtual work. So they just cancel out. Also, we hold support A and support B stationary. So AY and BY, they are not going to get into your virtual work calculations. So here's the results of the virtual work. And if I set rotation angle theta 1 plus theta 2 equal to 1, then I will get M equal to FX, which is the profile of the deflected shape. So that shows you how you can construct the M inference line for the bending moment at a cross section. Conclusions. The muller breslau principle is a graphical way to help you construct inference line. And it says that the inference line is equal to a properly deflected shape of the structures. So you need to deflect the structure in such a way that only the force that your, uh, his inference line you are looking for and the downward unit force contrib can contribute to the virtual work due to the virtual deformations. And all other forces that act on the structure should not appear in your virtual work calculations. 